You have entered the prep zone. It's season 14. Do you think we'd get there? Yes, you did. Tonight, the opening game, big rivalry. Fountain Blue at Lakeshore. Last year, 42 to zero, Fountain Blue over Lakeshore. I saw a lot of T-shirts over here on this side, which is the Fountain Blue side, signifying that 42 to zero. To call the game with me tonight, John Sartori time. Charles Tiger Edwards, John Sartori time. Hone in for us on the Lakeshore Titans. Well, the story, the question I should say for the Lakeshore Titans this offseason is how to replace quarterback Dylan Fields, who graduated. They're relying on senior quarterback Nate Fashon to be the answer. He switched over from wide receiver to quarterback. I'm expecting some growing pains, even though Fashon does have some experience at quarterback. That's where Jason Whalen and Dallas Matamoris, two senior linebackers, are going to have to make some big plays on defense if the Titans want to stay in tonight's game. Matamoris, I've called that name a lot. In the, in the years that he's been here. But on the other side, we have a first year head coach, Chris Blocker, and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs, and his son is the quarterback. Give us the rundown on the Bulldogs. Well, his son, Mason Blocker, is one of the best signal callers that you're going to see in St. Tammany Parish. I'm really expecting him to have a huge game here. This is one of the biggest rivalries in St. Tammany Parish, if not the biggest. Both teams are going to really want to come out strong in this one. It's the first game of the season. Everybody wants to start 1-0, and it's really great. We need to start 1-0 over your biggest rival, Tiger. Full disclosure for you now, Lakeshore graduate, Good friends with the Fountain Blue coach. Of course, we throw that out to call this game. It's a rivalry for the ages. Fountain Blue and Lakeshore. Okay, we're pre-game with Coach Craig Jones, third year. We got a first year coach and a third year coach. So that gives you more experience as a head coach. Is that gonna help you? I don't know about that. <laughs> coach Blocker's been around uh, longer than I have. He's just, you know, his first year, but he's got a lot of experience. Um, learned a lot in three years. Um, so hopefully. Tonight, a big rivalry. Their kids, I see a lot of shirts up in there say 42 to nothing. I know as an old coach that grinds on you, but uh, but but at the same time, you gotta focus for here. What do you what have you seen out of your kids this summer, last spring and this summer that tells you they're on the right track? Uh, they're focused. I mean, yeah, it's a rivalry game and you know, but the pass is the pass and you just got to focus on one week at a time, and this is just the first game of 10. And if we keep that mindset, we play all out, you know, I like our chances. You had a senior quarterback. I think Dylan Fields played four years for you. So now, boom, he had to switch it, brought in a wide receiver, Fashon. Uh, but he had some work at quarterback, so he's not just a rookie. What have you seen out of him that, that, that says you're on, he's on the right track? Uh, well, what we saw with Nate in the spring is, you know, what we expected. He's he's had to play when Dylan got hurt. He started as as a, a freshman, as a, a, a quarterback, as a freshman. He started the playoff game as a sophomore. He's got experience there. He knows the offense inside and out. Um, seven on seven during the summer was big for him. He's grown leaps and bounds. He's a natural leader, you know. So, you know, we lose the three-year starter, but we we don't lose a lot of experience. On the flip side, Mason Blocker, seven on seven this summer. Fountain Blue kind of lighten it up. What are y'all going to need to do to slow down that offense? Well, well he's good. He's got a live arm. Um, he, can, he can make plays with his feet. He extends them. His receivers do a good job scrambling when he's trying to make a play. Uh, he has great timing with uh, 19 and 13. Uh, they do a very good job, so it's going to be a challenge. We're pregame with Coach Chris Blocker, Fountain Blue High School so that everybody knows we get it out on the table early. Chris and I coached together at Covington for three years. We're good friends. But tonight, we get to see you in action for your first head coaching game. What, what's going through your head right now? Well, like you said, uh, first time doing this. But uh, you know, I might kind of be at the top of the ship here. But those guys practicing behind us warming up for the game, those are the ones that are tr truly running it. You know, and, and, and it's been a great experience so far. You, you took over in the spring, so you've had the chance during the summer. What have you learned about your team over the summer that, that, that you can give us going into the first game? Uh, that they work hard, real hard, and, and that's the bottom line. You know, they, they, they go 100% at everything they do. Tonight you got um, 
Lakeshore, it's a big rivalry. I see some of your kids wearing 42 and 0. That was last year, as you know. Every good coach, yourself included, can give a heck about that score. Tonight's the game. What have you seen out of Lakeshore that that pauses you to think about tonight's game? Well, uh, you know, the big difference uh, between la last year and this year, you know, looking back at uh, what Ducree meant to that team mm -hmm. and uh, what we had to do to, to, to kind of eliminate that, uh, this year is going to be tougher. Uh, they spread the ball around a lot more, which uh, you know uh, is a lot harder to defend. So, yes, we all worried about that. Here we go, live from Lakeshore High School, week one, Fountain Blue at Lakeshore. Ryan Miller to kick it away. And this one will be fielded at the goal line. Ethan Cohen coming out, 20, 25, 30, 35, out to the 43, and a flag comes in late. Looked like Bennett got him, finally got him down. Oh, nice, nice return there to start the game. But there is a flag. Number one, Cordy Bennett on the stop for the Titans. Still no signal as to what the infraction is as the 6'3", 190-pound senior Mason Blocker comes out for his first series. Played very well, sharing time with Hunt Thompson last year, but now this is the coach's son's team, Mason Blocker. As we still have Coach Blocker on the field. And now they'll move the ball to the left hash. And it looks like we're almost ready for our first play from scrimmage. Yeah, they're going with three receivers to the top of your screen, one to the bottom, overloading that right side. Blocker in the gun. That's a check with me with uh, the offensive coordinator. Signal coming from the sideline. More importantly, there's seven seconds on the play clock. Down to four. Blocker gets it off. Drop back first play. Good protection. Rolling left. He'll take off and run. Midfield into Lakeshore territory and out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Everybody covered on that, so good coverage by the secondary of Lakeshore. Blocker had to tuck it and run, but he gets five yards. That's the advantage of having a quarterback like Mason Blocker. He's 6'3", 190, but he can scamper. In the pistol this time, trips top of the screen, one bottom, handoff, a Cowie. Tough running up to the 40-yard line of Lakeshore. Near a first down. Straight ahead on that play, looks like he's gonna be, oh, he's gonna be close. Huh? And it's a first down. Yep. So two plays, five yards apiece, 10 yards total, first down. And that's what, you, you want the football first, you got it, you better start moving the football. Two receivers to each side, blocker in the gun. McCowie to his left as the Bulldogs look to the sideline. Down to six on the play clock. Lakeshore shows blitz. Down to, Too this much should time. be delay a game Too and it will be. Much time. And it'll be a false start instead. Either way, it's five yards. And now Fountain Loop faces a first and 15. Uh, blocker looking for the snap from Borski. Didn't happen and Joseph Joya. Joya. Um, Jump the gun. You know, with that threat of somebody coming right there and time running down on the clock, you're going, snap the ball. Everybody's hollering, snap the ball. First and 15, that's something you do not want. You do not want confusion. Blocker in the pistol. Two wide outs, that's it. One to each side, blocker, play action, rolling right, rolls out, pressure coming from Waylon. And he will run out of bounds. Dallas, Dallas Matamoris forced him out. 
They Great got, contained by the Lakeshore defense. They got in a, um, they brought the two of the wide receivers in a, like a blocking position and got to, got it in a look that looked like it was an overload. So they play action pass that way. And uh, he couldn't find, I mean, good coverage again by the Titans secondary and linebackers and enough pressure that he basically had to run out of bounds for a loss. The secondary of the Titans is one of the biggest strong points on this team, led by Cody Doucette, senior corner. Blocker with trips to the left side, one to the right. Snap, drop back, looking, throwing, caught. 40, Lakeshore 38 and double team tackled. That was Bennett and Doucette as the reception was made by Austin Lambertson, a 5'11", 165-pound senior. They got right just a, a yard inside the original line of scrimmage, which it was a 40, going to bring up a third down and nine. So nice pitch and catch right there. To, you know, a few yards, get something positive, but it brings up a third nine, which is tough. If you're Lakeshore here, you got to watch that scramble ability from Mason Blocker on third and nine. Shotgun, rolling right, blocker, pressure coming, throwing on the run, and it is caught inside the 30, the 28-yard line. First down, Fountain Blue on the reception from Cole Sison. Sison, big-time player now. He's been around for a while. You, you saw how he got down and protected that ball. Pretty good throw by blocker on the run. Very veteran receiving core from Fountain Blue that we're going to see tonight as Mason Blocker already two for two on two passes. First and 10, pistol formation. Blitz coming. Hand off a cow, he's got room, 20. Makes a man miss, 15, and tackled at the 12. First down, Fountain Blue. They ended up that time with a trap play right where the blitzing linebacker came. He vacated, boom, a cowie up the middle for a big gain and a first down just outside the 10 yard line. Round at 12, I think. 12 and a half. Trips to the left side, one to the right. In the pistol again, a cowie dots. Blocker, read option, he'll keep it. Outside 10, and a nice tackle on the outside. That was Cordy Bennett, the 6'2", 195 pound senior corner. Good job by Bennett there to make that tackle, but nice read by Mason Blocker, and he got out around and a good pickup on first down. It's going to be second down and four. Trips to the left side one more time. Akawi to the right side of Blocker. Snap, drop back. Blocker looks through the end zone, and it is! Caught for a touchdown! Wow, a rebound. It, it appeared that Garrett Scalia had the ball in his hands and it came out and touchdown. Wow. Touchdown, Fountain Blue. As the Bulldogs are gonna spread them out, we'll see if they come back in. And now they will. It's going to be Sean Spies, a senior kicker, replacing Tyler Olivier, his first extra point of the season. Snap, hold, kick is up. Kick is good. We have a flag down, and it looks like it's going to be running into the kicker on the Titans. And we'll wait for the confirmation on that. Referee talking it over. And it looks like that'll be the call. So, 9.23 to go first quarter. Fountain Blue strikes first. It's Bulldog seven, Titans nothing. So Fountain Blue will kick it off here as... There's a lot of confusion here about exactly where they're gonna put where? And now they're backing it up. <laughs> oh, that's where it's supposed to be. No, it's not. What? They might have declined it. 
And delay a game. Uh, oh, it was a delay a game. It took too long to get ready to kick off. That's a first. Here we go. Christian Maroney, a defensive lineman, kicking it off. Des Labastri and Jacob Bernard back to receive for the Titans. And it is a high kick. This one's loose. It's fielded. Nice play there by the Titans. Good job. Just fall on it. That was 56, Matt Morris. A little note here for the Titans. Both games in this series that have been played here at Lakeshore, Lakeshore has scored a touchdown on a kickoff return. So we'll see if it's three in a row for the Titans this time. Uh, well, maybe that's why we just saw that kick, that pooch kick. So here we go, Nate Fashon, the wide out turn quarterback who Coach Craig Jones mentioned, has a lot of experience at this position. Started as quarterback in junior high, has a playoff start to his credit. But now, this is his team. Snap, read option, handoff, breaks a tackle, falling forward. That was number 34, Randy Raymond, six foot, 200 pound junior, who Coach Craig Jones is very high on as he expects him to replace David Ducree very well. Well, he's got big shoes to fill, that's for sure. But he squirted through there and got four yards. They're going to bring up second down and six. Very similar offenses here. Yeah, we got to look to the sideline. I was just going to say, we're, there's a lot of time looking over to the sideline to figure out the play to run. Fashon's first pass, a little bubble screen incomplete. Looking for Raymond. And just like that, the Titans get into their first third down. And third and medium and long is not what the Titans want to get into. They'd rather run the ball than throw it with Fashon. Right. That's why I really wasn't sure of that call. Play call, I should say. This Fountain Blue student section that has made the trip to Mandeville getting loud on that far side. They came early and they came rowdy. Drop back, Fashon, pressure coming, throw over the middle, caught Ebersabel, first down to the 49. Raja on the tackle, a 5'11", 185-pound senior, but right on the money, right there. Nice pass by Fashon, stepped up in the pocket, waited his time and delivered. Hurry up offense here from the Titans. Snap Fashon, read option again, and Ray Raymond is hit in the backfield and dropped by a host of Bulldogs. Looks like Matthew Stacy got there first, 5'10", 185 pound senior. Christian Maroney was there as well. Second down and long for the Titans. Two receivers to each side. And now Raymond will switch sides. He'll be to Fashon's right. Drop back, Fashon, throw. And this one is well over the head of Ebersabel. Incomplete, and again, it's third and long for the Titans. They went with a stop route here on the outside, hoping somebody would jump it for the uh, corner route up top, and uh, didn't happen. Good coverage by the Bulldogs. Two receivers to each side. They like to go to Ebersabel in these situations. In motion, drop back, Fashion pressure, come and throw, and he's hit and dropped. Jacob Oliveri, 5'11", 185, a senior, good, just came up and whacked him right there. Kentrell Johnson, his first reception goes for about four, and it's fourth down, and the first punt of the night, R.J. Joyner, the senior, will punt it away. And it looks like number Cole Sisson. Sisson. Cole Sisson is back. Joiner punts it away, and this one's out of bounds. We'll see where they mark it, and it'll be marked at the 29. So the Bulldogs come out for their second possession of the game. Mason Block are very impressive on that first possession once he got into the rhythm of things. Wow, a, a chance to pin him back there. That punt was 
not very far. I, I saw it was a joiner. Yeah, I saw him earlier in pregame booming some. That, and I guess he was trying to avoid the run back, but that one went out of bounds. And uh, ball's at the 29-yard line. Not bad field position, all things considered at this point. Blocker in the gun, two receivers each side. Blocker rolling right, pump fake, looking, looking, throwing, caught, and quickly out of bounds. Gain of about five to the 34. Sisung on the reception. That time he looked deep, then went to his, you know, next level receiver, which was Sisung. And it, it looked for a minute there that he was going to run, but they have that timing down. Sisong hung right at the out of bounds line and he nailed him. Quick snap, Akawi and the Lakeshore defense is there. It'll be third down. Running that little trap play up the middle and they got stuffed in there. Whalen with a good job. Third and four. Lots of plays that Coach Blocker can make right here. Are they going to let Blocker throw for it? You can have him run it, or you can hand it off to a Cowie. Trips to the left, one to the right. They'll Slot throw. Guy. Slot guy. Caught, and it is short. Oh, and now it's dropped. dropped. It. He dropped it. Incomplete. Incomplete. Yes. The Lakeshore defense holds a three and out. Right. Cody, Cody Bennett breaks up the pass. Lambertson was the intended receiver. And I think he got a little worried about what, first off, I don't think he got to the line where he needed to, turned back, and then he started to worry about who was going to come, didn't hold the ball. Brings up fourth down. They're going to punt it. Offense is still on the field. We'll see if we just see a hard count or a fountain blue is going to trust their defense if they don't make it here. Quick kick. Blocker will kick it. Yeah, he's pretty deep there. No one's back for Lakeshore, and there it is. This will roll, it. too. Oh. Oh, no, no, you can't take that. No, 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 no. Bit no. of a brain cramp from Nicholas Ford there, who thought <laughs> this was rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Got to let that hit and roll and take your chances of getting a bunch of yards. He caught it in stride like he was going to the house. Right. <laughs> right. So Lakeshore takes over in pretty decent field position, all things considered. Good job of holding by the uh, Titan defense to get the ball back. 5.58 to go in the first quarter. It's going to be Tripp's left, one to the right. Raymond to Fashon's right. Fashon and Raymond in the backfield. With Snap. The Fashon, Fashon keeps it himself. This is where he's dangerous. And he almost broke that one. Nice tackle. That was number 12, Kyle Babin. Who I believe was the team's leading tackler this past season. Good gain on first down from Fashion. As now. Yeah, this is manageable here. Third, we, third, and second and four. We got the hydration timeout. 5.37 to go first quarter. It's Fountain Blue seven, Lakeshore nothing. Out of the timeout, it is second and four Titans. Out of the mandatory hydration timeout, it's Southeast Louisiana, folks. Oh, they got him deep! Tesla Bosch, got it! 30, 20, 20! 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Lakeshore! Gavin Show! Check Labastri, check Gavin Show! Show! He, he, he got toasted on that one. He bit on the out route, and then Fashion just laid it out there, and boom, touchdown. Labastri. Des Labastri, first career touchdown for the 5'7", 150-pound sophomore. And Ryan Miller, who's one of the best kickers in the parish, a very reliable right foot for the Titans, looking to tie things up. And a pretty good soccer player, I would add. <laughs> Line drive kick, splits the uprights. 5'23 to go, first quarter. Tied game, it's Lakeshore 7, Fountain Blue 7. 5.23 to go, first quarter. Ryan Miller will kick it away. As it's going to be Ethan Cohen, 5'10 senior. Had a pretty nice return. First time out. 
How will he do the second time? Here's the kick. Miller drives Cohen back to the three. Fields it, 10, 15. Coming near side 20, cuts it up, 30. And oh, he's hit hard. Oh, he's still on his feet though. I'd like to see that on replay, because I'm not, I don't know. He, huh? Yeah. What, are you, what are you, I think he was still on his feet. Wow. That will not be the call. No, it will not. Jacob Bernard with the hit. That's a freshman, Tiger, 5'8", laying the wood. Yeah, he did lay the wood right there. But there, I don't know if they're talking about that right there, but I'll tell you what, I'm not sure. We'll have, you know what we'll do? We'll get in the Dave the Rave Williams Cave, Dave the Rave Cave, and we'll figure that out for next week, and we'll report back. So you stay tuned, because we'll be at Salmon, where North Shore takes on Salmon in the second game of the 14th season of the Prep Zone. Blocker on first down. He wants to go deep. He'll go to the middle in his drop. That is two drops now from Austin Lambertson. Lambertson got a little bit of the, uh, the yips, I think. He's uh, worried about if he's going to get hit is the way it maybe presents. I mean, I don't want to be the guy running over the middle either, <laughs> to be honest with you. Second down and 10. Trips to the right, one to the left. Blocker, handoff. Akawi is met. That was Kevondre Williams, and you gotta be happy for that young man. Coming off a torn ACL, that's his first tackle. Kevondre Williams and Tyler Bennett gang up on the stop for the Titans. Man, and after that first drive where it looked like Fountain Blue was gonna have their way with this Lakeshore defense, Here's a third down. Lakeshore has a chance to force two straight three and outs. Yeah, they've sputtered since then. Two receivers each side. Blocker is going to roll right. Pressure coming, throwing on the run. It is almost picked. Almost picked off. Michael Goche breaking on that and almost took it to the house. And this Lakeshore defense is fired up. Two straight three and outs. And we'll see if Blocker is going to punt again. Looks like that is what is going to happen. By the way, you know they do have the fake kick. Like you fake to kick it, but throw it underhand up the field. That is a possibility. Here's Blocker. Oh, off the side of his foot, and the Titans are going to get field position in Fountain Blue territory. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. About a 10 yard punt from Blocker, and this Lakeshore crowd is into it. Parents and students alike. A little silent early. They've awoken the sleeping Titan. So here's Fashon. They'll mark the ball at the 45. Great field position. Two receivers each side again. Titans start from the Bulldog 45 yard line. Bash on, snap, throw out, he's got him. Smeraldo inside the 35 to the 32, first down Titans. They've picked, oh, picked, uh, found a way to pick the opening and right there was a nice opening and a nice pitch and catch and a first down. The Bulldogs are giving those inside receivers, Ibrazabal and Smeraldo, a lot of room off the line and I'm glad Lakeshore saw that. I've been looking at that from the first snap. Here's Fashon, handoff, Raymond. And Randy Raymond, besides that first carry, just has not been able to find the hole. Tough up front with um, Stacy Maroney in on the, on the stop. But it, it's tough running up front. See, what they did was, in that situation, when the linebackers went out, they went to the run. See, linebackers come in and look like they're going to rush. They're going to try to dump it out to those inside receivers. Second down, loss of one on first. Trips to the near side, one to the far. Play action and stoppage and play. Offsides on Fountain Blue. 
And the Titans will get five free ones. Encroachment is the call against the Bulldogs. Gavin Scholl, 5'7", senior, was in the neutral zone for the Bulldogs. You know, it's unfortunate for the Titans, though. They gave away that play call by running the play. So, right. Second down and six. Still may go to it. Fashion, deep drop. Steps up, throw to the outside. Gets to Smeraldo. And he's still on his feet. 20, 15, and tackled it around the 10 yard line. Tell me how he got away from three. Three Bulldog defenders right in that area. Smeraldo, five foot six, breaking about three tackles there. And they will mark the ball at the 11 yard line. So not quite first and goal yet. The Titans can pick up a first, first down. Fashion in the gun. Two receivers each side. Hand off Raymond, he's got a hole, and that hole closes up rather quickly. That's number 12, Kyle Babin again. That time they pulled a guard and tried to kick out. Babin filled the hole, and and um, and stopped that play when it seemed like it, it, it could be a touchdown. Second down. Fashion, hand off Raymond again, and this fountain blue Defense is not going to let Lakeshore run the ball up the middle on him. Christian Maroney on the stop. The loss on that one is going to be bring up third down and eight now with the ball at the nine. Third and eight. They can get a first down inside the one yard line. At the one or inside. Fashion. Now Raymond comes to his right side. Snap, Fashon's gonna throw for it. Looking, looking, looking. Lots of time, later on. Still looking, this is where he's dangerous. 10, wants to throw, and he took too long to make a decision. He's brought down, looks like it's gonna be a gain of nothing on the play. And an opportunity loss for the Titans, as it'll be up to Ryan Miller to get the Titans some points, and their first lead of the night with just under two minutes to go first quarter. Well, he had lots of time, lots of time, which is, has been true so far this evening, except for the first drive. Throw that out, and Miller has a chance to put the Titans out in front. Snap, hold, kick, up, and it is right down the middle. Ryan Miller gets the Titans their first lead of the game. 121 to go first quarter. It's Lakeshore 10, Fountain Blue 7. Ethan Cohen back to receive as the Titan Nation is on their feet and the Bulldog Nation quietly awaiting a reason to get loud again. Kick from Miller is angling out of bounds and a tough break as Fountain Blue will get great field position as a rare mistake from the senior kicker Ryan Miller. Mason Blocker so far, pretty impressive in his first start in his 2015 season. One touchdown, no picks. He likes to throw on the run. We've seen that so far. And I wonder, Tiger, if when he's rolling to the right, it's kind of like a read option. If there's no linebackers there, he'll take off and run. Yeah. If the player, if, if the linebacker comes at him, he'll throw it over the top. Well, they've been able to contain him real well. Defensive end getting out there to kind of slow him down where he's had to throw the ball and no run. Blocker hand off a Cowie running outside makes another man miss. Oh, he's got blockers ahead. Convoy cuts it back inside. What a run by a Cowie! 45 inside the 40 and tackled to the Lakeshore 36. That was a great run. He got out around the end and a couple of the Wide receivers hadn't really got off the line. They get up the line. He gets a block and he finds a way to cut back, but I think Hold we got a penalty. Yeah. All that cutting back, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a clip. I feel a Cowie is the best athlete on this Fountain Blue football team. I'm expecting him to have a huge game. As here's the call, and it is going to be a personal foul. foul. 
it's still going to be a first down, but, but, but a major penalty of 15 yards. So instead of having the ball at the Lakeshore 36, Fountain Blue is still in their own territory. That was a gem of a run. Two receivers each side, blocker in the gun, a Cowie to his right. Down to 15 on the play clock, so plenty of time for the Bulldogs. As you see, Dallas Matamore is trying to get the crowd into it. Snap blocker, handoff of Cowie again. No, he'll keep it himself. Great fake, but it did not fool the Lakeshore defense. Oh, and a late flag comes in again. Two flags. Late flag on the play. On the stop for the Titans, that was Devondre Williams and Luke Tuyer. And personal foul. It's going to be against the Titans. It's like a personal foul against the Titans. You got to keep your composure in these rivalry games. You make a great play like that on defense, but it's all for naught. Now, Fountain Blue is in your territory, and they didn't even earn it. 40 seconds left in the quarter. Got to the so, the both teams make give up 15 yard penalties, and we're kind of really back where uh, Akawi made that run. Two to each side again. Blocker keeps it himself, cuts it up, and he'll slide down. 32 yard line, it looks like. Nice pick up there, but that was run all the way. That may be the last play of the first quarter. Got about five on that play, gonna bring up second and five. And what, what, what time do we have there? We are down to 10 seconds. Looks like the Bulldogs can get one more playoff if they want to. And they will, blocker, deep drop. Looking, looking, pressure coming in as he throws to the end zone. Jabal, incomplete. Was looking for Nicholas Ford. Actually, Ford turned into a defensive back there, cut back inside and bait, uh, knocked that one down. And, and that'll end the first quarter. Yep, sure will. Good one so far. It's Lakeshore 10, Fountain Blue 7 at the end of one. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports. Fine arts. And learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles. And this is where we educate every child, every day. Out of the timeout, third down, Fountain Blue. Trips to the left, one to the right. Blocker, drop, quick throw over the middle, caught, first down, inside the 15, down to the 10, and inside the five, first and goal, Fountain Blue, that was Ford. He got it and turned up. He's got pretty good speed, Ford was able to turn it up inside the linebacker for a big pickup. First down and goal. For Fountain Blue as they look to regain the lead. Just four yards away are the Bulldogs. Pistol formation. Heavy to the left. Hand off a cow, we flag down, and this Motion. is gonna be a false start penalty. False start. They shifted, and the, the guy that shifted, I wanna think his number was, I, uh, I'm wrong on the number. I was gonna say Chase Clark, but I don't think he's in there. Um, there was a shift, that's a 48. All right, I'm giving up on the number, hard to read. Um, as it turns out, didn't get set. First and goal. So now it's first and goal from the nine. Blocker. Only two wideouts. Board and another flag. And it'll be tackled. Gain of one. See what the flag is. 
Um, I'm not sure about that one. That was that was a motion or illegal, illegal shift. shift. Illegal shift. I don't know how that was. Oh, I know what it was. When when he motioned, whoever was in motion had it to be on. Probably had to be on the line of scrimmage. So if he went in motion, that's an illegal shift. Because I thought everybody was set that time. So Fountain Blue just keeps backing up. They had first and goal at the four. And now it should be first and goal. Scoreboard reads second down. Should be first and goal from the 14. First and goal. Golden opportunity for Lakeshore to make a goal line stand. Blocker, deep drop, pressure coming. He's back to the 30. Rolling, rolling, he'll take off and run. He's to the 20 inside the 10. And he got four yards out of that, Tiger. He stumbled as he was coming back, and you could hear your voice going, ah, like they were going to get him. But he righted the ship and then was able to outrun everybody around the end. And uh, uh, just a good play by Mason Blocker to, to uh, pick up four yards. They'll call it a gain of three as they'll mark the ball at the Titan 11. Early stage of second quarter, Lakeshore 10. Fountain Blue seven. I would give the ball to Akawi here. He's a big physical runner for the Bulldogs. We haven't seen it yet. Snap, asking you shall receive, and he gets brought down from behind. And that, yeah, horse collar tackle is going to be called against the Titans. Initial contact was made by number 47, Kabandre Williams. Looked like Akawi went down a little awkwardly, and the flag came in as soon as I thought that I knew he was close to a face mask or because the way he was being jerked well you know the game started and there was oh it was face mask yep. okay um, game started and we went along pretty good there without there was one or two penalties but but now seems like every other play as we've uh, digressed. Let's go back to the very beginning, Tiger. First and goal from the four. No, second. Second, second and goal. goal. All right, right, so not quite. Right. Not quite. Second oh. and goal from the four. Scoreboard reads wow. first down. Wow. Two receivers each side. Blocker. Snap. Hand off a cow. He cut. No, blocker keeps it, and he will flip, and he should be short. The ball was not over the goal line. His body was, the ball was not, and they will mark it down. Third and goal. Nice officiating there from the side judge. Good tackle there. Flip, flipped up um, blocker, so they're going for it. There's no doubt about that. Third and goal. This is most likely four down territory for the Bulldogs. They only need three feet to get six. This is gonna be blocker all the way, it looks like, because now they spread out. And Fountain Blue is gonna call timeout. a timeout. Their first timeout. It'll be third and goal. We come back, 9.43 to go. Second quarter, it's Lakeshore 10 and Fountain Blue seven. Third and goal. Crowd comes to their feet at Lakeshore. One yard away are the Bulldogs, as we are ready for play. In the pistol, power left, and that should be false start, and it will be. Move them back, five, huge break for the Titans, and it's gonna be third and goal from the six now. That was number 12, Kyle Babin, who they bring in no, no I, th no, I think they moved him. I think to, just to, to not get Kyle Babin in trouble, I think it was the guy in front of him that pulled, leaned, might have been, uh, I don't know, 18 we go, or 19. 19, it was Sisson. See, he's on that side. Babin came over and got got behind him and ba and. Sisson moved too soon. Will the Bulldogs throw on third and goal? Snap. They'll throw it. Play action. Rolling right. Pressure coming. Throw across his body. It's intercepted. 
Intercepted! Cody O'Connor Orvin, excuse me. Terrible decision from Blocker, and it's the first bad decision he's made tonight, Tiger. Yeah, he came inside, all covered, everybody covered, while Austin Lambertson was a little deeper in the end zone. Maybe he should have popped past to him over the over those people. That was uh, the right man at the right spot there for the interception. The threat is not over for Lakeshore, though, as they are in the shadow of their own goalpost. It's a 99-yard field in front of them. 9.35 to go in the half as play has kind of, but these has really kind of slowed down. A lot of penalties in the last three or four minutes, and we're going to have another timeout. This is the hydration timeout. And it's actually, no, Lakeshore timeout. 9.35 to go, second quarter. It is Lakeshore 10, Fountain Blue 7. We are back. It is first and 10 for the Titans from their own one yard line. Fashion takes the snap, handoff Raymond, gets out to the two yard line, gain a one, it'll be second and nine. Ran a little power play to the left side and it all got bottled up. Gain of one on the play. It's gonna be second down and nine. But this is all you can do right here. You don't wanna take, you don't wanna be too cute right here. I will say that. I'm putting the ball in Nate Fashon's hands here if I'm Coach Craig Jones near the goal line. If you get in trouble, he can move around back there, get you out of it. Second and eight. He's gonna pass, going deep. Labashri again, got it! Whoa! Catch does Labashri over the shoulder. Flashes of Jim Edmonds there on the football field. Des Labashri, he's got two huge receptions for the Titans tonight. And just like that, the Titans are out to the fount or their own 35-yard line. Yeah, they went up top with the fade route. Boy, Fashon couldn't have put it in a better place. Nate Fashon is impressing me tonight with his touch on those deep throws. He's proving he's not just a wide receiver playing quarterback. He can make some throws for the Lakeshore Titans. First and 10. Snap, they're gonna throw again. They're confident with Fashion over the middle, Ibrazabo, the most reliable receiver on this Lakeshore football team, makes another great play. The senior into Fountain Blue territory. Tiger, if you tell me that this Lakeshore offense would have the success they've had so far tonight, I'd say you would be lying. I'll tell you what happened right there. Fashion looked left and looked the safety off of that play, turned back and delivered the ball right on the numbers. Fashion will run it, spins out of it, cannot break a second tackle, and it is just like that, a loss of about three as the Titans are back into their own territory at their own 48 yard line. Jack Jablonski, six foot, 190, a junior on the tackle. Running's gonna, is a little bit of a problem here against this front, but throwing now, they've had some success. They're gonna throw again, deep drop. He's got Smeraldo over the middle. Instead, he's gonna take off and run. Here's where he's dangerous, into Fountain Blue territory, and down to the 47 yard line. It is still going to be third down. Third. By number 12, Kyle Babin for the Bulldogs. About seven or eight. Sharwood Harrison and Babin on the stop. It's going to be third, third and seven. From the Bulldog 47. Trips to the far side, one to the near side. We're going to have a timeout by Fountain Blue. Blue so, Fountain Blue, just like that, down to one timeout and a half. 7.36 to go before halftime. Lakeshore 10, Fountain Blue 7. Third and eight for the Titans out of the timeout. Trips to the far side, one near side. Fashion drops, throws. Uh, this one's hung up and it's intercepted. Yep. That one floated. Saw that one coming from a mile away. As Brandon Akawi, the Iron Man, for Fountain Blue on the interception. And just like that, Fountain Blue gets it back. As Mason Blocker is going to have a chance to redeem himself. 
on this possession. As Foul Blue is going to start from their own 42 yard line. Two receivers each side, a Cowie, fresh off that interception, will line up in the backfield alongside Blocker. Snap, he'll get the handoff, and he is tackled. Looked like number 33, Jason Whalen on the stop, the along with Tillett Driver, a 6'1", 265-pound sophomore, Titans. who successfully made the switch from offensive line to defensive line this offseason. The front three of Lakeshore doing a heck of a job. Slowing down the run. Pick up a three, second down, seven. Blocker, hand off a of Cowie one more time. Hard running, still on his feet, and it's gonna be another face mask, it looks like. Hard running. Are down. Big hit, looks like Justin Matamoris finally brings him down. So, awaiting the signal from the referee, and here it is. Personal foul, face mask on the Titans. And three yards, 15 of them for the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. Wow, big, big penalty there. Two receivers each side. Blocker in the gun. McCowie to his left. And now Blocker will look to the sideline, as does the rest of this Fountain Blue offense. Plenty of time on the play clock. Hand off of Cowie. No, he'll run it himself, this blocker. And great contain by the Lakeshore defense. That was Garrett Scalia. Good job of staying home over there. And uh, blocker, not sure that was a good read. Probably should have handed it off that time. Uh, but I think they, that might have been a designed keep. Might have been called as that. And then hoping that because Akawi has gotten through a couple of times lately. It will be second and 10, a gain of zero on first down. Blocker drops. Blocker steps up. He's going to the end zone, and he's got a man, and he did not look for it. Nicholas Ford looked like he gave up on it almost. And it is third and 10, as that is a huge break for the Titans as Ford just blew by Connor Orvin. Blocker threw that ball like a rocket for 40 yards. That was a nice pass. I'm not sure. I, I think he, I, I don't know if he looked up or the next thing you know, it's coming back over the I other think shoulder. It, it was coming to his left and Blocker threw it to his right. Yeah, I think that, I think he was, I think Blocker was off the mark. It'll be a rolling right pass throw is, oh, miscommunication by the Bulldog receivers. Austin Lambertson is scared to go over the middle right now, Tiger. That's three receptions he should have had in this first half. Devin Fury also had a shot at The thing is that it came out of, came off of his hands of Devin Fury had focused in on that, maybe he would have gotten that one on the carom. Very similar that. to that first touchdown that, that Fountain Blue scored. So the Fountain Blue offense is still on the field. It wouldn't be shocking if they went forward here. There's just a lot of yardage to gain. They need the Lakeshore 23 if they do decide to go for it. It's gonna be fourth and 11, and it looks like the Bulldogs are going for it. Snap, they will drop back, blocker, good protection. Throwing down the sideline, great coverage, and it's overthrown, incomplete. Lakeshore takes over on downs. I thought he got jostled down on that sideline. I was expecting a flag. It may have, it may have not been catchable, Tiger. That, that's true, that's true. What a job by this Titan defense. I talked about it in the pregame. They were gonna have to step up to relieve some pressure 
off Nate Fashon, who's in his first third quarterback in about a year and a half. So, well, this, this first half has really slowed down. Mm -hmm. A lot of penalties. We had a pretty, pretty brisk first quarter. But since then, we've been like on, woo. I have to apologize. I missed the cheerleader earlier. We got a timeout on the field. It's the uh, hydration timeout. 10-7, Lakeshore over Fountain Blue. From the own 33-yard line of the Titans. Hand off Raymond, he'll break it outside. And again, there's nothing there for Randy Raymond. He's gotta be averaging only about a yard of carry thus far. Kyle Bavin, that's his third stop of the night. Gain of one. As uh, might give him two. Yep. Um, again, the run proving difficult for both teams. Fountain Blue At wants time. Nate Fashon to pass. That's what they're going to try to do. But Fashon has answered the bell tonight thus far. Blitz coming. He's going deep down the sideline again. And that should be an interference call on someone. Lots of contact. No flag. Third down and eight. As Fashon was looking for Kentrell Johnson, a 5'11", 170-pound junior. Burke, good coverage that time. He, he was in front of the receiver. And uh, and that ball was incomplete. Gonna bring up third down now. Third down and eight. With both teams throwing the fo football lately, clock is stopping pretty often. Smeraldo in motion to the far side. It'll be trips now. Fashon drops, pressure coming off the edge. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There's no one there. He's going to have to just run out of bounds. And it's going to be a loss. Should have thrown that one away, did Fashon. So three and out for the Titans. And RJ Joyner will come out for his second punt of the night. First one, not a great kick. We'll see if he can redeem himself this time. Ball's going to be placed at the Titan 27. Joyner standing at around the 13. Sisung about the 34, 35 yard line for the possible return. Snap, joiner, pressure coming! Oh. How did he get it off? Wow! And it'll take a Titan bounce and be downed. I think, he, I think he got a piece of it. I think I saw the referee do this like with his hand touching his hand like he got a piece of it it's as if the lakeshore offensive line didn't exist on that place there was no resistance to get to join her that time and how there was no how it was not just snuffed out mm -hmm. that's another one of the things they teach you when somebody's punting is you don't go for the ball you go for the spot yep. in front of the player where the where he would be kicking the ball Big break for the Titans. As I've said that a lot so far in this first half. It's first and 10 for the Bulldogs. 5.05 to go before halftime. Trips near side, two to the far empty, side. Empty in yep. the backfield first for First time we've seen that. Yes. First time we've seen that tonight. A little switch up here on what they're gonna do. Five wide. Oh, uh, did they make Lakeshore jump? No flag. Looking, here comes the pressure. Blockers rolling, blockers running. And again, great contain. Garrett Scalia there on the far side as it is a minimal gain, about five yards for blocker. Tylen Driver finally forces him out of bounds. Tillen Driver gets the official stop. Make that, he didn't get five. I think he got two. Ah, yep. So, um, like you said, good contain. Like they're getting a, the they're getting four, the five are not being able to block four. Trips near side, one to the far side. Snap, handoff, a Cowie. Nice play, Kavandre Williams. Six foot, 270 pound senior. And those holes that were there for Fountain Blue, that first drive, they've disappeared as both teams are playing very good run defense. 
Pickup of two, third down and six now. So yeah, you're right, both teams have that going on. Ball spotted right on the sword. Three near side. One at the top of your screen. Pistol formation. Met blocker drop, throw. This one's caught. Breaks a tackle, he's got a first down. Lambertson finally catches one over the middle, and it was very important. First down, Fountain Blue, as they're going to mark the ball at the Lakeshore 40. Give himself, it gave himself a little confidence right there. He locked it up, and he picked up positive yardage after the catch. If he didn't break that tackle, Tiger, I think he might have been short of the yeah, first down. Yeah, he would have been short. Absolutely right. Good run by Lambertson to pick up the first down for the Bulldogs. It'll bring up first and 10. For the Blocker Bulldogs again in the gun. Cowie to his run. left. Snap, deep drop. Steps up, throw over the middle. Lambertson got it. Wow. Oh, did he drop that? No, he got it. He got it. First and goal, Fountain Blue. As Lambertson, that's two huge receptions in a row. Like I said, a little confidence. He gets down the seam and Blocker put it right on, right on his hand. Beautiful throw from Blocker making up for that poor throw earlier where he missed Nicholas Ford. As now it looks like there's some confusion on where to line up for Fountain Blue. A Cowie to Blocker's right. Two to each side, Blocker receiving Cowie wise. Hand off a Cowie. Was it the football balls on the turf? Who's got it? That Lakeshore says they have it. Oh. And they do. Two goal line stands for the Titans. Wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. Wow. Unbelievable from the Titan defense. Bending but not breaking. And it's Whoa. first down Lakeshore. Fortuitous again. Fortuitous mistakes by the Bulldogs that the Titans take advantage of. Just like that, Lakeshore takes over on offense. 3.29 to go before halftime. Snap, screen, caught, Smeraldo taken down quickly out to the 16-yard line. What a nice pickup. They've got that play down. Pickup of six, second down and four. That's all you need. If they're not going to cover it, dump it out there. It's like a six-yard run. Why not? Don't waste time. Just throw it out there. Uh, blitz coming. Fashion cannot read it in time, and it is a loss. Three or four yards lost on that play. And Fountain Blue, both of these defenses are forcing the opposing offenses into a plethora of third downs in this first half. As if Lakeshore can't get this first down, they're going to give the ball right back to Fountain Blue. And they'll be, yeah, they'll be around, they'll be inside of two minutes though when that happens. But, uh, Trips bunched far side. Fash on snap, Fash on drop. Pressure coming. He's got room. Can not break. Yes, he does break the tackle. Spin move, and he's not getting anything else. Oh, and a flag comes in late. Tough break for the Fountain Blue Bulldogs as there's those emotions in a rivalry game that you just cannot have happen. I, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking I agree with that. I just have to say that. I think that was incidental, was if anything, contact. No, mm. no, mm -mm. I got to disagree. That may that's be. That's just how he spun. It, it's, to me, the tackle was being made, and that's how he spun. The guy wasn't trying to hit him. You know, he's just, just in the area. If this was a, a statistic, if we were keeping track of big breaks yeah. in this first half, Lakeshore would yeah. be beating Fountain Blue <laughs> mightily in that category. 2.08 to go before halftime. Two-minute drill time for the Titans. Fashion drops again. He wants to go deep. Now he'll roll right. Pressure coming. Still looking. Throw on the run. Got a man open. Got it. And that's Labostri. Des Labostri 
nearing 100 yards receiving in the first half. Great, Beautiful play. Great job of seeing that Fashion was scrambling. He came back to the quarterback, and the defensive back lost him. Put it on the numbers, boom, first down. 45-yard line of Lakeshore is where the Titans have first and 10. Found Blue Show's blitz, they come with it. To throw outside, Smeraldo. Curl route, and he's out to about midfield as Smeraldo, a little gimpy, as he's limping to the sideline, and in comes Evan Pusiger, who Fashon is a wide receiver turned quarterback. Pusiger is a quarterback turned wide receiver. As we're gonna have an injury timeout, a minute 33 to go before halftime, it's Lakeshore 10 and Fountain Blue 7. We come out of the timeout, Cole Smeraldo helped off the field by the Lakeshore training staff, and it is second down and five from midfield on the left hash. Two to each side, receiving wise. Fashion rolling, and he's gonna take off. He's got room, he cuts it up, 45. Out to the 44, first down, Titans. Wow, he got around Harrison, who broke right through there, and it actually kind of really forced him to tuck it and run. So Harrison forced that play, and Fashion uh, took advantage of and got enough for first down. That was the first time tonight I've really seen Nate Fashon determined to run the football. First down and 10 for the Titans. Read option. Oh, he's got room out to the 40. Inside the 40 around the 37 yard line. Randy Raymond. Kyle Babin on the stop. Raymond finally got past that first Line of defense as Lakeshore calls their second timeout of the half. 47 seconds to go before halftime. It's Lakeshore 10 and Fountain Blue 7. Second and five for the Lakeshore Titans out of the timeout. Two receivers to each side. Raymond to Fashon's right. Fashon deep drop. Pressure coming again. He's going to take off and run again. Cuts it across the field inside the 30. 25 out of bounds. Oh, and this is going to be a holding call against either Fountain Blue or Lakeshore, and it's going to go against Fountain Blue. Personal foul. Dane Ziegler was just held to the ground and was not allowed to get up by a Fountain Blue defender. Add 15 to it. Lakeshore has a chance to go up two scores before halftime if they can get the ball into the end zone. Okay. Here we go, folks, 37 seconds. There's another break for the Titans, though. Again, I was going to say, again, adding to the big breaks in this ball game, everything going the Titan way except the, the first drive by the, by the Bulldogs. Since then, it's been a very fortuitous evening for the Titans. Fashion with two receivers to each side. Snap, drop back, deep drop, good protection. Fashion is taking off a running spin move. 15 yard line and brought down. As the clock will roll and the tackle was made by number 55, Jack Jablonski. As timeout time? is called by Lakeshore. 25 seconds to play before halftime. It is Lakeshore 10 and Fountain Blue 7. Second and 10, 25 seconds to go before halftime. Bash on in the gun. Play action, rolling right, he's in trouble. He's gotta throw it away, and he does. And it'll be third and 10. Nice pressure that time. That was number 11, Jacob Oliveri. Great job by Oliveri to string that play out and basically force Fashion to throw it away. Big play for the Fountain Blue defense here as they look to hold Lakeshore to just a field goal attempt. Two receivers each side, Fashion in the gun. Snap, drop back, looking left, now right, over the middle. He throws over the middle, got Abrazov, but he missed him. In and out of his hands. 
Ibrazabal was open, and Fashon overthrew him. Ibrazabal, great effort. But now it's up to Ryan Miller as he looks to hit his second field goal in as many attempts tonight. We give Lakeshore a six point lead, 11 seconds to go in the first half. Ibrazabal to hold. Snap, hold, kick is up. Does it have the distance? It does! By mere feet, Ryan Miller. Two for two in the half. And with five seconds to go before halftime, it is now Lakeshore 13, Fountain Blue 7. Here we go. This may be the last play of the first half. Don't expect Lakeshore to kick it deep, and they won't. Squib kick, angling near the sideline. It'll stay in, and Cowan has trouble fielding it. And now he's got room. Uh-oh, here we go. 30, stiff arm, and tackled. Clutch tackle there. Oh, and there's going to be a face mask. We're going to have one untimed down. Dallas Matamoris is writhing in pain as he now gets up for the Titans. The stop was made by Jacob Bernard, and Fountain Blue will most likely get one free play here and they're gonna have a chance to reach the end zone. And it will be a face mask. The third personal foul face mask called against the Titans in the first half. Dude. <laughs> so, look at this field position for Fountain Blue. The last time these two teams played here, Fountain Blue at the end of the first half, Hail Mary touchdown. Will we see something reminiscent? As we'll have one untimed down here. Mason Blocker is going to have to throw this ball 46 yards to reach the end zone. We know he can throw it 40 for sure. Two receivers each side. As Lakeshore's in a prevent with three deep, all standing at the tight 25 yard line. Lakeshore crowd comes to its feet. One last time before the intermission. Snap, they're gonna run the ball as they're looking to catch the Titans off guard, and they do! Still on his feet and now tackled at the 32, and that will do it for the first half in this one. The score at the break, the Lakeshore Titans 13, and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs seven.
Let's give it up for the Fighting Titan Band, folks. The Lady Shore Fighting Titan Band and Starlight's Color Guard programs are led by band director Miss Jessica Lozana. The Fighting Titan Band and Starlight's Flag Team would like to thank the faculty, staff, and community of Lake Shore High School for your support and generosity with our growing program. We are ready. 24 minutes down, 24 minutes to go from Lakeshore High in Mandeville down Highway 1088. Alex Brosette to kick off. It's Labastri back deep to receive along with Jacob Bernard. And here we go. Squib kick. And this one is going to be fielded by Labastri on the hop. 15, 20, 25 over blocks. Cut it outside. Nothing there, out to the 32-yard line, and that is where Nate Fashon and the Titan offense take over for their first possession of the second half. Joseph Pizzatola on that stop. But um, what a first half by the Titans. Absolutely. Big breaks, everything. Everything but the kitchen sink went the Titans' way. They were able to get fumble, interception, both in the red zone. Nate Fashon has proven me wrong in this first half, in the first half. I thought he'd struggle mightily. He has delivered. Here's a handoff, Randy Raymond, who has not been able to find a big hole tonight. That's one of his longest gains, about four yards there. But Nate Fashon did a good job of bouncing it back outside as to Fashon. Nate Fashon, great touch on those deep balls. He's shown the ability to scramble, and only one bad throw. He's not made too many big mistakes tonight, but this Lakeshore defense is the story. Here's Fashon, he's got room. 45 midfield, into Fountain Blue territory, and down at the 47. They'll mark it at the 46. There's the straight line speed of Fashon you see right there. Noah Ruby on the stop, a six foot, 160 pound senior, but he's a safety. You don't want the safety tackling the quarterback when it's many yards down the field. Two receivers each side, Raymond to Fashaw on the left. Snap, handoff Raymond, up the middle. Tough running, lowers his shoulder. And a little pushing and shoving at the end of the play. No flag, gain of about four on the play. So first thing I'm thinking, adjustments at the half. Titans go in and say, let's come back out and run the football a little bit. And so far, so good. Fashon on second down. He's going to keep it himself, and there's no hole there. A poor read by Fashon, and it was snuffed out by the Fountain Blue defense. Third down. Lakeshore faced a lot of them in the first half. They also converted a decent amount, though. So we'll see if that trend carries over to the second half. For a second there, I saw, this is no lie, a moth fly by the window, and I thought it was a flag. It's reminiscent of the first half because there was a ton of them. Third down and seven. Passing situation for the Titans. Quick throw to the outside, and it is underthrown, incomplete. So a drive that started with a lot of promise sputters out, and the punt team comes on for the Titans. The good news is it's on the 
Bulldog side of the field. So a decent punt will pin the Bulldogs back. So RJ Joyner will come in to punt, and it's gonna be number 19, Cole Sisung, back to receive the punt. See if Joyner's able to put this one inside the 20. Nice punt. Lots of hang time, fair catch call for, and taken in at the 14 yard line. So nice play by Sisung to field it, nice punt by Joyner, and now Fountain Blue will have their turn. Mason Blocker, first drive of the game, looked perfect. Lights Every out. drive after that, he made one nice pass down the field that set up a scoring situation that Fountain Blue fumbled away. But other than that, really nothing going for yeah. the senior quarterback. Yeah, it seems like they bogged down once they got inside the 10. That, there was two significant drives down inside the 10 that they came up empty-handed, and that's why they're down in this game. Two receivers each side, blocker, shotgun. Snap, he's gonna keep it himself. Here's the speed of blocker and he'll slide down. Good play there by blocker. Madam Morris with the tackle, but up the field. Oh, and blocker's down. Blocker's down and we're gonna have an injury timeout. 9.43 to go, third quarter. It's Lakeshore 13, Fountain Blue seven. So Mason Blocker able to walk off under his own power. We assume it's just cramps as the junior quarterback, Justin Stolberg, his first snap is a run up the middle. So Stolberg picks up the first down on his first carry. You show, he shows that he's got some scrambling ability. He's fired up and ready to go here. And that's what you want out of your backup. He's ready to get out and get this thing going. Very interesting play call by head coach Chris Blocker, immediately putting the ball into Stolberg's hands, not handing it off. He's, he's got some trust in Stolberg. Towards the end of the first half, they had a little luck with that, that kind of speed, that, that motion right there. Some confusion from Fountain Blue, they figure it out. Stolberg's gonna throw, he's in trouble. He's gonna go deep, he's got a man! What a catch! Wow! Lambertson. Austin Lambertson! Are you kidding me? Wow! That's two now, Tiger! That's He's a deep threat! That's three! Three in a row! He dropped three in a row to start the game, and now he's made three really good catches. How about this from Justin Stolberg? Two snaps, a nice gain on the first, and then he throws a bullet to Lambertson on his first pass attempt. If you're Coach Chris Blocker, why aren't we? See, we had, we were a little late getting that play clock going. They're standing over there talking, and we haven't checked checked the ball in. It's nearing nine o'clock already, and we're just in the third quarter. Two receivers each side. Stolberg's gonna throw again. He's going to the end zone. Good coverage. It is intercepted. Michael Gauthier. Uno dos trace turnovers for the Foul Blue Bulldogs. This Lakeshore defense huge. is answering the call tonight. Huge, 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 huge. Ill-advised throw there yep. as the receiver had not gotten inside. Goche did get inside. And uh, the, the only thing I fault there is he just threw it up. He really, I mean, he looked the receiver's way. But right. he took one step back and just let it fly. A little too much confidence, I feel, there from Justin Stolberg. Yep. It comes to bite Fountain Blue, but the Fountain Blue defense has great field possession. Three turnovers by the Bulldogs in the red zone. First down in 10. Fashion with four receivers, two to each side. He's gonna throw, quick throw, caught Cantrell Davis. Or it's controlled Johnson, rather. Kyle Babin on the stop, and I'm still wondering, when is somebody gonna jump that route? Jump that route. That's the same thing they've been throwing right there. We got an injured Bulldog as there's 8.18 to go third quarter. It's Lakeshore 13 and Fountain Blue 7. We come out of the timeout. First and 10. 
trips. Right side, Fashon, this is a straight run all the way. Looks like there's nothing there, and there is not. Gain of about two or three. Student body right, he just kept the ball. Designed run. Second down and eight for Lakeshore. Fash on with two receivers each side. Snap, Raymond, they'll try him again. He breaks a tackle. He's still on his feet pushing. Picks up a couple out to about the 20 yard line. You can keep trying it. Yeah, Fountain why not? Fountain Blue is not going to let it work that easily. But why not? Uh, we got another injury timeout as the cramps are taking over here at Lakeshore. I wonder if everybody watered up a hydration at the half. 7-19 to go third quarter. Lakeshore 13, Fountain Blue 7. Third and three for Lakeshore out of the injury timeout. Might not be a bad time for Randy Raymond, the power runner. They'll throw it outside. First down, Kentrell Johnson. How about they just kind of flip it out there to that slot receiver in that same left slot? Is that five times now? There it is again, as there's so much cushion there being given by Grant Wadja. But you know what? They're going to pump fake it one time, and that may be it. That may be all she wrote. Two receivers each side again. Fashon keeps it himself, and he gets about four or five. Second down. Upcoming for the Titans. As Lakeshore run heavy thus far in the second half. Run that time off the clock. I'm, I'm here. I'm with you. Give your defense a rest. They deserve it. They've come up huge tonight. Every time. Two receivers each side. Bash on. This will be a handoff to Raymond, and he lowers the shoulder. Did he lose the football? No, he did not. That was his helmet. He picked up the first down is what he did. Randy Raymond running hard, and he'll have to come out for a play. He'll be replaced by David Brown. A five foot five, 170 pound sophomore. As Evan Fusiker also checks into the game at wide out. First down, Titans. Play clock at 12. Some confusion about what the play is. That's never good. Down to five on the play clock. Oh, somebody moved right there. And, oh, a timeout. Uh, time Whoa. Another break. <laughs> a timeout, break. Lakeshore. 5.39 to go. Third quarter. It is Lakeshore 13 and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs 7. First and 10, Lakeshore out of the timeout. Again, two receivers each side. Fash on in the gun. Snap, rolling left. This is a run all the way, and it is blown up. Balls on the ground. Looks like they're going to say Fashon's down, and he is. Loss of three on the play. Jack Jablonski's there again. Six feet, 190 pounds. Junior linebacker. These design quarterback runs have not worked for the Titans tonight. The read option has been there occasionally. The Fashon contained by the Fountain Blue defense so far tonight. Inside five to play, third quarter. Fashon's gonna have to take off and run. He breaks a tackle now, dives forward for some extra yardage. It's gonna be another third down and long and another passing situation for Lakeshore. And eventually, if you are Lakeshore, you're gonna have to have a sustained drive because this defense, they might keep making stops, but I wouldn't bet on it. Jablonski got a hand on his ankle and, and basically he, two steps from him tripped up. So 
Third and nine, Fashion on drop pressure coming, throw to the outside, what a throw! And a beautiful catch from Kentrell Johnson. Fashion has been nothing but clutch to that on third down. Money, money, money. Nate, money, Fashion. On the money, Woo. First down and 10, hurry up offense here from the Titans. They run the clock, 4.20 to go, third quarter. Pressure coming off the edge. They hand it off Raymond. He finds the seam. And Randy Raymond is finally finding these holes that he just could not find in the first half. Gain of six on the play inside the Fountain Blue 45 to the 44. He's getting the handoff, starts right, and then slides back to his left and is getting some the defensive end. The right defensive end needs to close down, and that would be Jablonski. Needs to close down hard and fast to shut that play off. Pressure coming again. They hand it off to Raymond again. He lowers the shoulder as a flag flies into the pile. And that's our first flag in a while. We'll see what the call is. Wow, wow. I think we had about maybe eight or 10 plays without a flag, but then we have a holding. So there's a break finally for Fountain Blue. It's a small one, but they get one. Bump the Titans back 10 yards, it, back into their own territory. They mark it at the 47 and a half yard line. Probably the, num the, the thing that's sticking out in my head right now is as successful as Lakeshore has been, they're only up six. A touchdown and an extra point puts them by, down by one. So that threat, they can't let take the foot off the throttle. They can't stop doing what they've been doing. Bash on over the middle, that should be interference. There's the flag coming in late. It's gonna be called against Grant Waja, who's asking what he did wrong while well, you tackled I think Adam Ibrazabal over the middle. I think what happened was their feet got caught up and then he went over the top of Ibrazabal. So give those yards back to the Titans. Yeah, break, break averted, right? <laughs> break return. And the referee with the ball marking it off has had a lot of work tonight. Mr. Allen held right there. Right in the middle of your screen. Grant Waja comes out of the game now following that penalty. Automatic first down now for the Titans. Two bunch to the near side. Fresh set of downs now for the Titans at the 38 yard line. Fashion will keep it himself. Breaks a tackle, bumps it outside, cuts it back inside and he's tackled as the pile moves forward for an extra yard as they'll mark it at the 35 yard line of Fountain Blue. So the second half game plan has been to run the football until you need a pass and throw the ball and complete it. Because the passing has been outstanding tonight. So only use it when you need it. Three minutes to go third quarter. It has been a dominant quarter time of possession wise by the Titans. Here's a pass. Bash on looking, now rolling near side, throwing. Dangerous pass, it is incomplete. Coverage on the play by Jordan Burke. First time we've called the 5'10", 165 pound sophomore's name tonight. As the pass was intended for Jalen Willis, his first target of the night for the 6'1", 150 pound sophomore. I think that was, they were going back to the in, little insider, inside receiver stop route and was well covered that time. Third down and seven. Can Fashon make another play? He's done it so far tonight. This might be four down territory for the Titans. Drop back Fashon, he's got a good pocket over the middle. This one's overthrown. Looking for Evan Pusiger. And it'll be fourth down and it's decision time for coach Craig Jones. And the decision is made that they will punt it away. I've got, my defense is doing a good job. I, I'm relying on them. They've been able to make the stop when I need it. I'm gonna punt it or I'm gonna fake it. Cause that's a possibility. Joyner is an athlete. He can run a little bit. 
Snap, and they will punt it away. Heading out of bounds, and this one, see where they mark it. Coming back up, it's gonna be right there at 20. 15 yard punt for Joyner. As he was just trying to not punt that one into the end zone. Same result as a touchback. 2.38 to go in a relatively brisk third quarter after we had a slow start due to some injuries. Seven o'clock kick, it is 9-10 local time now. As see who the quarterback is, Mason Blocker is back in the game. In the gun. Snap, hand off a Cowie, nowhere to go, spins out of it, and is met by Dallas Matamoros and a host of Titans who drives him back. Ball came out late, a Cowie clearly down, and it will be second down and about 10 yards to go, gain of nothing on the play. The Fountain Blue Bulldog offense since its first drive has just kind of sputtered and they've had some bright moments and then dim moments almost immediately after the bright moments. Two receivers each side, blocker drops, looking, pressure coming! Ball's loose! Blocker got it back, but it's still loose and I think Fountain Blue fell on it. Lakeshore saying they have it. We'll see who comes out of the bottom of the pile with it. Flags down and We'll see who that goes against. Lakeshore says they have it. Ryan Miller pointing, saying he has it. Lakeshore football for Quattro turnovers. And that one may be the costly of them all as Mason Blocker is still down on the turf. As we'll see if we're gonna get an indication on what that penalty is before we head to injury timeout. We'll get to it when we come back. It's Lakeshore football when we come back. Titans 13 and Bulldogs 7. We come out of the timeout. The penalty was against Fountain Blue, a personal foul after the play. First and goal from the seven yard line for Lakeshore, looking to make it a two score game. Snap, handoff Raymond, nothing. Met in the backfield, loss of two on the play. Or just a loss to one. It'll be second and goal from the eight. Tackle made by Christian Maroney, six foot five, 250 pounds on that D line. Christian Maroney makes a stop for the Bulldogs in the middle. Fountain Blue, I don't think we've given them the credit defensively they deserve. They've kind of been overshadowed by the lack of offense that the Bulldogs have produced tonight. Here's Raymond again, busted outside, lowers the shoulder, is met, and is tackled at around the seven. Third down, very conservative play calling here by Lakeshore. We're inside one minute to go, third quarter. The thought here is you don't want to turn the ball over here. If you run the ball, number one, we're gonna they, they can work it where they run out the clock, and if they run out of downs, they got the deadly Ryan Miller could put them up by more than a touchdown. So. Why not? Third down. See if Fashon makes another play. Snap, drop back, looking, throwing right side, corner around the end zone. And it is bobbled and caught for a touchdown. Whoa. Adam Ibrazabo, 5'10", 165 pound senior, one of the leaders on this Lakeshore team. Nate Fashon, second touchdown pass of the night. Lakeshore is up 19-7 on the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. Nice throw and catch right there, right on the money. Coach Jones elects to go for just one instead of two. Snap, bobbled hold, kick is a line drive that is through the uprights. It's all Lakeshore right now, folks. 16 seconds to go third quarter. 
It's the Lakeshore Titans 20 and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs 7. Ryan Miller to kick off. These Lakeshore Titan fans, very optimistic right now, as this one is the third penalty on a kickoff by Ryan Miller tonight. He's only kicked it off four times, and that's three that have gone out of bounds. No. Five times, excuse five times, yeah, because there was two pretty good returns. And I think since that time, they just said, why not? Why take a chance? That one will come out to the 35-yard line. It looks as if Justin Stolberg is the quarterback in that huddle. Mason Blocker is not coming on the field. It's Justin Stolberg's time at quarterback. One for two tonight, an interception. One carry. Six yards. Two receivers to the left. Trips outright. Five wide. McCowie comes in motion. Lakeshore had it covered. They still have Stolberg tackled at the line. If that. And that is going to be three quarters in the books from the Coliseum at Lakeshore High School. 12 minutes to go. That's all that stands between Lakeshore and an opening win over their bitter rivals, the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. The score at the end of three is the Lakeshore Titans 20 and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs 7. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports. Fine arts. And learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles, and this is where we educate every child every day. Second down and 10, start of the fourth quarter. Lakeshore 20, Fountain Blue 7. Justin Stolberg, the backup Fountain Blue quarterback, has a chance to be a hero if he can save Fountain Blue from this. And it won't work with miscommunication like that. Incomplete pass intended for Nicholas Ford. The sophomore has had a rough night for Fountain Blue. Yeah, that one behind the intended receiver. Just a quick pass, you just turn and throw it right to him. That one just kind of carried off behind the receiver. Going to bring up third and long. Not been real friendly to the Bulldogs tonight, third and long. Fifteen on the play clock. Stolberg gets into the gun. Two receivers each side. Drop back Stolberg. Throwing it deep on the corner route, and it is incomplete. No flag, Cody Doucet on the coverage. Three and out, Fountain Blue. Great coverage right there. That'll bring up a fourth down for the Bulldogs in their own 34-yard line. Something to point out, Mason Blocker is the only player that is punting the ball tonight for Fountain Blue. He's unavailable. Who will we see punting the football? And Lakeshore is going to put Nate Fashon, their quarterback, back Nate deep to receive. Back deep for the Titans. Snap. Punts away. Nice Fashon. one. Good hang time. Fashon fields it. Hit immediately and drop. Great coverage that time. That was number 26. That was Alexander Brosette. Made a few nice plays tonight. For the Bulldogs. I expect some more of the same. Run the football, run the football till you need to throw it. Burn the clock. Two receivers each side. Bash on, awaiting the play call. Play clock has not started yet. And now it has, it's, it's rolling and 
The Titans have plenty of time to get this snap off. Snap, Fashon looks, quick throw, bubble screen, and I believe this is gonna be a false start. Yeah, Raymond started a little early. First and 15 now for the Titans. As there's the official call. First down in 15, 11.38 to go, fourth quarter. First and 15, Titans for their own. Two to each side. Fashon, Randy Raymond in the backfield. Fashon, handoff Fashon Raymond, hands it off to Raymond, up the middle, Fashon tough Fashon running out to the 30 yard line, 30 and a half. Get some of those yards back, second and 11. Gain of five on the play for Randy Raymond. More importantly, the clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, if you're Fountain Blue, you need a quick defensive Second stop here. Fashon is going to throw. Now he'll take off. Quarterback draw. Fountain Blue has closed quickly tonight when Fashon tries to take off. Maroney. Fashon got by Maroney, but he quickly reacted and came back to help with the tackle. He and Jacob Oliveri. Third and seven. If you're Fountain Blue, you're scared to death right now because Fashon has torn you up on third down tonight. Drop back, looking, pressure coming, gets out of it. He can still throw, he'll just take off and run. 35, 40, he's got the first down and he is gone! Nate Fashon, touchdown, Lakeshore! Something out of nothing, 26-7. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, man. There it is. Goodness. All night we've been waiting for Fashon to take off, and he finally does as the horn sounds at the Coliseum. Whoa. How did he stay in bounds? Wow, Ryan Miller to make it a 20 point game. It'll be Fashion to hold. Snap, hold, kick, up, kick, right down the middle. Fountain Blue on life support. 10-22 to go fourth quarter. It's Lakeshore 27, Fountain Blue 7. 10-22 to go fourth quarter. Ryan Miller to kick it off. And here we go. Swim kick it is, that's a live ball. It was touched by Fountain Blue, it's fielded. And that is Sasung. And he spun out of bounds at the 32. Oh, that was uh, dangerous right there. That was Joseph Pizzitalo who fielded that, the up man. But you meant attempted to field it. Kind of slipped down and the ball got away from him, so. Sisung was Johnny on the spot for that. Here we go, Fountain Blue needs three touchdowns in 10 and a half minutes. The comeback needs to start now with Justin Stolberg at quarterback, five wide. Snap, drop back, steps up, he wants to go long, he does go long, he says he throws, intercepted! Midfield coming back the other way! 45, step up, what a block on the cutback! And tackled at the 34, Cordy Bennett, the six foot two, 195 pound senior, may have just put this one on ice for Lakeshore as it's Stolberg's second interception and count them, five turnovers for Fountain Blue tonight.
During the return, it looks like we've had an injury on the field. We'll take a short break. It's Lakeshore football with 9.57 to go. Lakeshore 27, Fountain Blue 7. First and 10 out of the injury timeout, the injured Bulldog was Brandon Akawi, and he was able to walk off under his own power. As on first down, Randy Raymond gets the handoff, gets about three yards across the 35 to the 34. For the Bulldogs, number 55, Jack Jablonski. Yeah, on the interception, Stolberg clearly overthrew the intended receiver, and, and uh, Bennett was right there. He was. Second down and nine. Lakeshore just trying to melt the clock at this point. Run the football. Snap. They'll pass. Bashon going deep for the kill shot. There's no one there. Just kind of threw that one up for grabs. Hoped one of his men could come down with it. Kentrell Johnson and Jalen Willis were the only Titans in the area. And it is third down and nine. And Jordan Burke was the closest to Fount Blue corner to the ball. Good thing it, it ended up being thrown away, I guess. <laughs> Third down and nine. They're going to milk the clock now. Fountain Blue backs off. They want to make sure throw the ball. And they will. Wow. Bash on, pressure coming. He'll take off and run. And he will slide down, shy of a first down. Tackle by Sharwood Harrison. they bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and the Titans are looking to the sideline to go for it here. Run the football. That's all I say. Run it, run it, run it. Time, better than punting, getting a punt block or whatever. Just run the football. Nothing fancy. Hard count does not work. First time around, 14 on the play clock. Down to eight, seven, six. Man, and I don't think Lakeshore is going to run a play They're going to call a timeout or, or take the penalty. They will. Timeout. Take a timeout. Take a timeout. 8.04 to go. Looks like it's going to be punting time when we come back. It's Lakeshore 27, Fountain Blue 7. RJ Joyner on to punt. As it was a delay of game, not a timeout. So Titans are back five yards. That's more space for Joyner to punt this one away. Angles it towards the sideline. Takes a tight bounce and out of bounds. And they will mark this one at... The 18 yard line. 17 yard line. The Lake Shore High School well, Justin Stolberg had a pretty Titans electrifying start of the Lake Shore Titans football. as he came in to relieve the injured Mason blocker. Since then, he's been living a nightmare. Two interceptions. And things are looking very bleak for the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. I, I will say this about Stolberg. He looks good. He, mm -hmm. his, his throws have been off the mark, and his, um, I mean, he throws the ball good. It's just been off the mark and to the wrong people. First and 10, two receivers each side. Snap, and then we're going to run the ball as this is Stolberg. It's about two. Second down. I'm sorry, you're down how many points? 20, 21, whatever. You, you got to throw the football. Clock keeps running inside. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to go. You need three scores. You don't have time to run the football. Call a play and run a play. Let's go. Stolberg again in the shotgun. Snap, drop back, steps up in the pocket, throws this one wide open, and this one is caught. Lowers the shoulder and gets out of bounds. That was number 19. 
Cole Sisson. Called his name a lot tonight. A little, um, a little more room by Lakeshore, so you take advantage of it. You run down as far as you can and run out. Complete the pass. But this is taking too long right now. It should be two-minute drill. Get up there, call a play, let's roll it. Stolberg drops, steps up, throw over the middle, and it is too high. High, front shoulder up. Looking for the ball floats. Looking for Seasong again. Second down and 10, inside seven to play. Second 10 Bulldogs from their own 34. Too much time. Snap, drop back, Stolberg looking, rolling. Stolberg He'll take off and back. run. Makes a few men miss, and now he is spun down. And the, that was made by Garrett Scalia. Ball is loose. Looks like they're going to say Stolberg was down, and that looks to be the correct call. Third down and eight. Trips top of the screen. One receiver at the bottom. Third and eight balls from the 35 yard line. Stolberg as the Lakeshore defense calls timeout. 6.08 to go fourth quarter. 27 points for the Lakeshore Titans and seven for the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. Third down and eight for Fountain Blue. Trips. Top of the screen, one at the bottom. Same formation as when we left. Blocker, snap, drop back, pressure coming off the edge. Throws one deep downfield, and this should be a flag, and it will be. Pass interference called against Ryan Miller as he got there just a little bit too early as they went to the deep throw, Austin Lambertson. So it'll be a first down for Fountain Blue. 5.57 to go, fourth quarter. So they'll mark the ball. They're walking back to the Fountain Blue. Yeah, that's what 35. they do. Yeah, ah, it's a okay. 15 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. They should be marking this one right on the sword, and that's what they'll do at the tip. We got heat and humidity timeout now with 5.57 to go in this one. Lakeshore 27, Fountain Blue 7. First and 10, Fountain Blue. Snap, Stolberg rolling right, rolling right. Still looking, now throws on the run, caught. Across the field, fumbles it, but it's quickly corralled by Nicholas Ford as his tough night continues. Ford caught the ball four yards up the field, started to cut back, and lost the handle and lost four yards. It'll end up, that would be a minus two yard pass on a four yard completion or a three yard completion. It's, that might be the story of the evening. Can't be going backwards when you're down, when you need to be going forwards and you're on offense. Second down and 12. Snap, Stolberg ro looking, looking. He's in trouble. Gets out of it now, just throws a prayer down the sideline and it is a jump ball that is incomplete. Pass intended for Austin Lambertson and Corday Bennett on the coverage. A pretty impressive Lakeshore debut for Corday Bennett. Philip Abney and Jason Whalen chasing Stolberg out of the pocket for the Titans. Oh, and they have a flag coming late. It's going to be a personal foul, roughing the passer. 
on Lakeshore. So 4.57 to go. Fountain Blue will play a first and 10 from the 36 and a half yard line. First and 10, Bulldogs from the Titan 36 yard line. Where are you at, Titans fans? This one ain't over. Stolberg has five receivers in his arsenal. Drop back. They want to run a bubble screen, and it is blown up by the Titans. And this one is thrown away, and this will be either roughing the passer or intentional grounding. Jason Whalen provided the pressure. And he will also provide the penalty. Horse, Horse collar on Jason Whalen. And the Titans are giving the Bulldogs some free yards here. They will mark the ball at the 21 yard line following that penalty. Huh? 30 penalty. 30. 30 penalties tonight in tonight's game. We are just getting word. This Lakeshore crowd is still into it. Stolberg looks to Enzo, pulls it down, and he will be sacked. Dylan Driver with the sack. The sophomore has had a nice night tonight. Clock continues to roll. Down to four minutes to go in this one, Tiger. What are you taking from this first game of the season? Uh, Lakeshore stepping up big defensively. Uh, number one against Fount Blue's offense after that first drive. Number two, Nate Fashon. Stolberg drops. Pressure coming off the edge. Throw to the end zone is through the hands of Daryl Tott, the sophomore's first target of the night. Third down one more time. That appeared to be catchable right there. Kind of the story of the evening. One of the stories. The fountain, excuse me, the hunk blue. Third down and 12. Stolberg is going to have another chance to let this one fly. Snap, it's coming, rolling left, throwing, and this one is dropped. The nightmare night continues for Nicholas Ford, and it's fourth down. Tried to run before he had it. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, and this may be the last time the Fountain Blue Bulldogs touch the football. The Lakeshore fans sense it, and they come to their feet. What a great crowd this has been. You wouldn't expect anything but it in this rivalry game. Fount Blue students came early and were boisterous. 42 to nothing. They hung out there. The Lakeshore football team used that tonight to get a measure of revenge. Stolberg drops, looks to end zone, and it's intercepted! It's Corday Bennett one more time. Spin moves still on his feet. He's still going out to the 40-yard line. Corday Bennett, second pick of the night. Six turnovers for Fountain Blue, and that will do it in this one. 3.18 to go, fourth quarter, and the Titans take over on offense. New quarterback coming in, and Nate Fashon has pushed out to wide receiver. Fashon's still at quarterback. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. My bad. 
Oh, that's Jalen Williams out there. I thought they were, okay. It does look like a two from where we stand. Handoff Raymond, flag down. And this is going to be a hold on the Titans, I believe. As our 31st penalty of the night is a holding call against Lakeshore. Guilty party was Thomas Shank, number 60, 6'4", 295, a senior. So Titans now play a first and 20. Roll that clock, 3.05 to go. 20 on the play clock. As it looks like Fashon is just going to let this clock roll down. Take a snap as late as he can. 31 penalties on the evening. Down to six on the play clock. Fashon takes the snap, handoff, Raymond outside. As he cuts it up, is manhandled. As a nice tackle by Mason Hornsby that time. The senior linebacker, six foot one. 170 pounds. Two twenty now, third and 17. Second and 17. Second and 17, excuse me. Five on the play clock. Fashon takes the snap. Hand off Raymond. Up the middle. Falls forward. Gain of about four. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking. 150 to play. As this one. This one's been in the books for a while. You pronounced it in the books at 337. I was probably around the 10 minute mark, or, or I was a little ahead of you on that. Well, the Lakeshore Titans for their third consecutive season open up the season with a win, and they break just a one game losing streak against the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. Fountain Blue, they got a good coach in Chris Blocker. They're going to turn that program around, but this night belonged to the Titans as it's third, second and 13, third and 13. Raymond, handoff up the middle, stopped immediately. And you can't see it in your screen, but the Lakeshore student section is heading down towards the field with an intent to storm it, and they are quickly getting sent back. <laughs> We'll see if that stops them. As, wow. The 32nd. <laughs> Fountain Blue will not get the ball back tonight, folks, as the a personal 30 foul. The 32nd foul of the. First down. Lakeshore. I came in tonight, into tonight not biased, Tiger, but as you mentioned in the beginning, I am a Lakeshore alumni, and this has been as good an atmosphere as I, I feel good for the students here at Lakeshore. This was an incredible atmosphere here tonight, and uh, I wish it would have happened a year sooner so I could have been a part of it. As Nate Fashon is going to kneel this one down, and the old victory formation. See if this is the last play love of it. the game. There's the snap, there's the kneel down, and we'll see when the play clock runs. And it will be the last play of the game. That will do it from the Lakeshore Coliseum. Tonight is a party night for Lakeshore. Last year it was 42 nothing. For the next 365 days, it's 27-7. The final score is the Lakeshore Titans 27 and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs 7. We'd like to thank those who brought you tonight's game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Fulce. 
director of broadcasting, Channel 13, Dr. Melody Swang, camera men tonight, Rhett is sharp, and Dave the Rave Williams. Alongside me on the Tiger Edwards farewell tour is Mr. Charles Tiger Edwards. I'm John Sertori. Thanks for watching, everybody. You are now leaving the prep zone.